since a lot of people have been asking, I thought I would just show them how I kind of modified my 5.8 gigahertz FPV camera for the uh, it's made for the X5C. Um, but I've modded it by putting a button on it to allow um, it to basically work on any quad. Um, the only thing is you have to turn the video on manually before flight and turn it off after flight. Now, this is the receiver unit that comes with it and hooks up to your controller, um, mounts on your controller, sorry. Um, this is the camera and as you can see there is a well I don't know if you'll be able to see it but there is a black and yellow wire now the camera on the original X5C comes with a black yellow and red um, the red I believe is just power from the um, X5C itself but because this has its own battery built in uh, it doesn't need the red all it needs is the black and the yellow now what I've done is I've spliced the connector off um, that came with it which would plug into the X5C so it looks something like that but only have the black and yellow wire um, and on a push button switch I've soldered a the black wire onto here and the yellow wire onto here so that as you can, I don't know if you can read that, but it says normally open. So the switch is normally open. When I push the button, it closes the circuit. You just have to hold it for two seconds and it'll record video. And I'll just show you how that works. As long as there's power on this thing. So there's the screen. Now I'm going to turn the power on on the camera. There we go. It says card error because I don't have a SD card or a micro SD card in there, but if I did, it would. Anyways, so I've put uh, Velcro on the unit itself and another piece of Velcro on the bottom of my quad. And I can put it on any quad, actually. Um, that way I can mount it. As you can see, there's a red light on the camera showing that it's powered. Now, if you hold the button for two seconds ah it won't record because I don't have a card in it hold on a sec probably should have thought about that Okay, now we have a card in there. So as you can see, the card error has gone away. So now, as I was trying to do, I'm gonna hold the button for two seconds. And you can see it turns red and it starts showing the record time. And the light on the camera is now flashing. So, when I hold it for another two seconds, which I do after the flight's over and my quad comes back, you can see it goes back to just how much time, how much recording time is left on the um, camera itself, or on the memory card itself. Sorry, um, but again, it's pretty simple. Like I said, you have to get a normally open push button switch, and just solder the black and the yellow. Doesn't matter to which one and when you hold the button for more than two seconds I'll show you again you can see it's starting to record down here and again on the quad the lights flashing and again to turn it off you just click the button again light stops flashing and you go back to a regular timer uh, if you want to take pictures, which, I mean, it really wouldn't be useful for that because you'd just be taking pictures of whatever, of the camera in your hand, you push the button just for one second. And it would be like that. 
as you can see the screen goes dark meaning you're taking a picture and that's pretty much all there is to it um, again I've mounted the switch on the side with uh, double sided tape and like I said I put velcro on the top here and then I can put the opposite side velcro on the bottom of any quad to mod to it as long as the quad will lift it it's not relatively heavy um, but just in comparison to size it's obviously somewhat bigger than let me see here it's obviously somewhat bigger than the original uh, X5C camera and because it's got a battery built into it obviously it's going to have a little bit more weight to it um, but it does come with different uh, mounting brackets um, this one I believe is specifically actually no I don't have it on here but there's one specifically for the X5C that kinda looks like that which allows you to um, click it into the X5C and mount it with the two screws and that's pretty much it hope that helps like if you like the video and if you have any questions let me know thanks